Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you two features that happen to be right next to each other uh, in a SharePoint document library, the ability to favorite and ability to add shortcut to OneDrive. So I would like to explain to you uh, what these features are and explain the difference between the two. They actually uh, initially seem to be doing kind of the same thing, but they're actually quite different uh, as well. Uh, so um, here, here is a use case. I have this uh, board site and a document library and a bunch of files and folders in this library. And uh, if I click next to a file or folder, I have the ability to favorite. Let's start with that. I have an ability to favorite, so let me click that. So you will notice that uh, you get a confirmation a message that I favorited this uh, folder, but I can do the same uh, to the file as well. All right, I can do the same to the file as well. But let me show you what just happened when I made this folder my favorite. Uh, what actually happened, uh, this uh, folder um, uh, now appears as a favorite folder under my OneDrive for Business uh, account. Uh, so just to remind you, OneDrive for Business is essentially my uh, own private repository uh, in the cloud. So if I navigate uh, to my files within my uh, OneDrive, I'm uh, over here, obviously. Uh, and uh, on the left, these are my you know, personal files and folders. But then on the left, uh, I have this Favorites tab. And it shows the uh, files and folders I favorited uh, across different SharePoint sites. And look at this. Here's that folder I just made favorite. All right, you see I favorited some other files and folders from other sites, but this is the one. And I can actually click on that uh, folder and see the contents of that folder uh, right from within essentially this contents over here. I can see it right within my OneDrive. So. Uh, the idea behind uh, the, the favorite files and folders is that um, as you work on many different sites, right, I'm pretty sure you're part of many different teams, many different projects, many different SharePoint sites. As you're uh, working through them, you might, you know, just only care about specific files and folders. And this just allows you to easily uh, access them. Um, you know, so by clicking on my files, you can easily get to your own, um, you know, stuff. And by, um, you know, by clicking on this favorites tab, you can pretty much aggregate, if you will, uh, all uh, the files and folders across many different sites. By the way, you can also uh, make, um, you know, you can also favorite uh, the, um, you know, files and folders within OneDrive itself. So, uh, for example, you know, what this budget document, uh, I also want to uh, favorite as well. And this is already located in my OneDrive, but then, uh, you know, if I'm here, you see uh, under favorite step, I just favored it uh, uh, from my OneDrive as well. So essentially, uh, it's like a catch-all place for all the favorite files and folders, whether they're located uh, on your, um, you know, on your OneDrive for business um, or uh, on any SharePoint site. Uh, now, let me explain to you uh, another uh, feature, and that is the ability to add shortcut to OneDrive, and then we'll explore the differences between um, uh, the two features. So I already made this folder my favorite. Now, let me uh, try to press this Add Shortcut to OneDrive button. And uh, we got a notification that uh, this folder was added as a shortcut to my files and OneDrive. So what does it mean? Let me show you what it means. So uh, let me now navigate to my um, uh, OneDrive account and uh, look at this. So remember uh, my personal files and folders? Well, guess what? Now I have um, this folder that I added as a shortcut to OneDrive appearing uh, right among my you know, personal files and folders. And it actually tells us over here, um, you know, that this folder is part of this board site. Now, when I click on this, I kind of get the same experience when I favorite uh, files and folders. You see, uh, once again, uh, it pretty much presents me content from that folder 
all right, right within my OneDrive. So essentially what you get to see here on a SharePoint site now appears on my OneDrive as well. And it doesn't copy anything, just like with favorites, it doesn't really copy anything to my OneDrive. It's literally just a link, it's a shortcut. Uh, so physically the content, this content still resides on the SharePoint site. Just I uh, want to make sure you understand that. Um, so uh, that's what one uh, add shortcut to OneDrive uh, allows you uh, to do. Now, by the way, we can also we can also um, uh, create a shortcut to a file. Uh, it's called a little bit differently. It's called add shortcut to my files, but the idea is the same. So I just added a shortcut to this file, not a folder. And if I refresh my screen, uh, just like that, you see. So uh, that's uh, kind of how add shortcut to OneDrive works. Um, you know, when you add shortcut to files or, or folders, they appear over here. So uh, let's now explore the differences between the two. So um, what what are the key differences? So uh, first of all, um, all the favorite stuff, right? We have a separate tab. Any file or folder you you make your you know your favorite file and folder, they always they are not going to appear over here. They are going to appear under the favorites tab uh, all the time. So we have a dedicated tab. Uh, all the files and folders that you add as a shortcut to OneDrive, they always will appear here. So right among uh, the um, you know, your, your personal, I guess, files and folders. So on the surface, it appears as if, you know, add shortcut to OneDrive and uh, favorites, they kind of do the same thing. It just, you know, the where the bookmarks, I guess, appear right uh, to the stuff that you favorited or added as a shortcut is different, right? Uh, again, with favorites, we have a dedicated tab and with add shortcut to OneDrive, um, it appears uh, right among your personal stuff. However, let me show you um, another thing that is um, uh, makes those two features uh, quite different and quite unique. Uh, so I happen to be synchronizing this, uh, you know, my OneDrive for business locally on my computer. All right, and I have already done that. So essentially, I just you know synchronized it. Uh, some time ago, so all of my files and folders are also accessible from my Windows Explorer. So let me click on uh, my Windows Explorer. Here it is. And of course, you might recognize this are my personal files and folders, but look at, at this. Among uh, them, I have this folder that I added as a shortcut, um, you know, from a uh, SharePoint site. Uh, here it is. And if I click on this, you're going to see the files and folders uh, that appear inside of this, uh, you know, uh, a top level folder. So a uh, long story short, uh, when you um, synchronize, if you happen to be synchronizing stuff locally, the uh, folders and the files uh, that you added as a shortcut to OneDrive, they also happen to be uh, synchronized locally and accessible from your Windows Explorer. Uh, once again, the files are still physically residing on the SharePoint site. At the end of the day, it's just kind of a like a shortcut uh, to all this content. But now, uh, what I see on the web also appears on my uh, in my Windows Explorer as well. And you can see this little um, link icon appearing over the yellow folder, indicating that. Uh, this is a shortcut uh, uh, to that uh, folder on the SharePoint site. Uh, that's not the case with favorites. All right, favorites um, um, uh, just exclusively, um, you know, uh, for web-based access. Right, whatever you favorite here does not appear as a favorite uh, uh, on your computer in Windows Explorer. Uh, this is only um, a kind of a web browser thing. Versus uh, once again the shortcuts that you uh, that you add to files and folders, they do happen to uh, to also appear uh, on from uh, in your Windows Explorer locally on your computer as well. So these are the key kind of differences. Um, again, which method you choose really depends on um, on how you work with information. If you're exclusively uh, on the web, uh, then favorites is probably a good uh, option for you to use. However, if you also you know, syncing and maybe um, what I like about this particular option, I guess, is that uh, it's all in one place, right? It's my personal stuff. I don't need to go to any separate tabs. 
uh, it's kind of all mixed together, which is probably convenient. And the fact that I can also access it on my computer as well, that's another uh, key feature uh, as well. So uh, that's all I wanted to share with you in this uh, quick video. Uh, hopefully you now understand the difference between other two features. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmemet.com, uh, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.